good squee. Not a good squeaky cat. Come on, squeaky. Come on, squeakies. Come on, squeakies. Come on. Here, squeakies. Here, the little squeakies. Come on. Not a good squeakies. Ah, good squeakies. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's me, Dana, from Dana's Antique Goodies. Welcome, as uh, we're going to be doing something just a little bit differently today. And that's cleaning out the uh, mice's house. My mice's house. Their tank. As you can see, they're having a good old time. Mice! Oh, look at the some mice! Mice! Ah, the mice! Mice, mice, and squeakies. Ah, oh, they go squee. Mm. They go squee. They go squee. What? Squeakies. They go squee. Squee. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So before I begin the process of cleaning out the mice's uh, house, I put them into this here little uh, container, like so. Slide this bad boy open. Oh, the mice. Switch out hands, hold the phone. Here's the some mice. 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 Get over here, you little dirtbag. Nice. Come on. What the heck? Get over here. Ha da da da. Ha ha. I got you. Mice. Hey. Mm hmm. Get over here. Dirty mice. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this isn't how it usually goes. I just pick them up and put them in there like this. But, uh. Hey. Hey, what? <laughs> what the heck? You're not wanting me to do that. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll just have to get the black one. Mice. Mice. Be nice to the mouse, squeakies. Whoa, look at him. Boy, it's frozen. Nice. What happened? Mr. Mouse. Nice. Actually, it's a Mrs. Mouse. They're both Mrs. Mouses. I don't need no baby mice. It's as uh, fun as that would be, it wouldn't be very fun for me. <laughs> you gotta stay in there now. begin by taking all of this out, washing it, vacuuming out all the uh, fluff, wiping down the inside of the uh, tank, and drying it all up with this uh, here uh, motel uh, looking uh, hand towel. It's nice and fluffy and exurbent. So that's what I usually use, not paper towels. And then I refill this with nice fresh, nice fresh H2O. Jesus Christ, I can't speak for life to me. But, um, yeah, fancy mice. All right, let's move on to that. Hi. So, um, don't you worry, folks. This is it for our dishes. The sponge, this is only the clean out, or, well, yeah, clean up the mice's stuff and clean out their house and all that good stuff. So let's begin, shall we? <laughs> 
<clears throat> Hopefully that's a good enough angle for you. I have my phone resting up against some uh, dishes that are dry. we do something just a little bit differently. Remember I said a long time ago in the beginning of my videos that if anyone were to actually comment on any of my videos, um, they would be able to tell me that they'd want to see something like this because I did say let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me clean things, organize things, do arts and crafts, cook things, obviously show you all my uh, meaning meaningless vintage possessions <laughs> stuff like that and they're not meaningless unless you think they are then you're a jerk <laughs> but um yeah give that a good old scrub so I usually fill this uh, the I usually moisten the sponge with very hot water and then I add the Dawn dish soap to it. And uh, I just start scrubbing away on everything. And then once everything is covered in soap from head to toe, I rinse it off with some nice hot steamy water. Kills any bacteria and all that. It's funny though, because mice, they're literally surrounded by their own filth. Unlike cats who just go in and out of the cat box and dogs who go out in the yard. They're like literally surrounded by under filth. And it's funny, I'll watch them clean themselves in their tank. It's not necessarily a cage, it's a tank. Reptile tank, actually. Uh, I watch them clean themselves and all that. But they're surrounded by their own filth, so really, what is there to really <laughs> clean? I tell you, though, these mice are very pampered. Uh, you, you know, you're supposed to clean out all their stuff at least, you know, once a week. Because, uh, apparently their ammonia, uh, the ammonia levels in the tank, if it gets too high, it will kill the mice. The mice will succumb to a very grisly death, I would assume. And I probably most people, I would assume, I just said that twice, sorry, um, Probably most people just take the, you know, all the stuff out, they tap it out, rinse it off maybe, and then for the uh, tank, they probably just dump it out in their trash can outside their house and then call it a day, put everything back, put the mice back in, new fluff, etc., etc. But I go above and beyond. So there isn't any fluff all over the whole entire cage when you're like dumping it and all that upside down. You know, it stirs it all up, I vacuum it out. Then afterwards, I clean the vacuum out. I give that a thorough washing because I just picked up mice excrement and all that in the vacuum. And I take my good old time washing all of their stuff out very thoroughly. And this is once a week, folks. <laughs> and then I do the same thing with their tank with the hot and soapy water. <sighs> and then, um,. And then from there, I vacuum out their house, give them new fluff, all that good stuff, food, water. Their water, I really don't have to fill all that much. It usually lasts at least um, two to three weeks, and then I refill it because, you know, probably probably is getting stale and no one wants to drink stale water. I even give them tap water. Like I said, I give them a um, fresh bottle of water and then whatever is left over in the bottle, I just screw the cap back on and put it on the side of all their other stuff and then when they need it filled again, I use the rest of that water from that bottle and do the same thing all over again. Is like a giant place, don't it? Mm -hmm. 
don't need any of that, though. I'll be ruining my diet. Not to say I can't have snacks every once in a while, but i got to watch the serving size. How many days you're consuming it, I guess? I don't know. I'm just winging it. And it seems to be working for me. Doing that, like, one-day thing where I don't really have anything when I wake up or when I'm going to bed. I just have one main meal, and that's it. If I have anything, and I mean anything prior to that, like before my walk or after I've had that meal, it's something very small, very light. So, I think I'm doing something good. I don't know. You want, Cat? Yearly. So, I have this really fat cat. Her name's Girly. She wants to go on the back porch, but she can't because I'm in the middle of doing this, so too bad. <laughs> too gosh darn bad. I never put soap in here. The first time I washed it when I bought it, I did use soap to, you know, if there was any, like, oils on it, I would, you know, break the, break the part, all that, but, um, you know, coming right out of the factory and everything. But after that, I just used really hot water, especially on, well, on the, yeah, well, you can't speak to like them. On the outside, of course, I'm going to use soap and water. Because, you know, they've been hanging up, you know, jumping up and down on it. But, um, on the inside, no soap whatsoever. I just use very, very hot water. And then, you know, fill it up with water. <laughs> and then the drink. But when I first bought it, you know, right out of the factory and everything, there's going to be some sort of oil on it. Some sort of grease. So I did clean all that up.
fill it so you have to to the fun part, washing it. Mm -hmm. Lots of water. Missy! Let's see if you can see my white cat. Miss! Ah, never mind. Camera shy. Actually, she's up on the table, eyeing up those mice. I know what you're thinking. Mice? Cats? That doesn't mix. And I also have fish. But guess what? There's two separate floors. The second floor has the mice and the fish, and the first floor has the cats. I have six to be exact. So out of all the cats, they could really care less about the mice, but the white cat, Misi, that you didn't get to see yet, um, she loves the mice. So I really don't trust her that much. As long as they're in that little, uh, container of theirs and I have an eye on them, I think we'll all be good. Now I wanted to show you guys my mice for a while. I got these guys back like in March or April, I believe. But I just never got around to doing it. I mean, the channel is called Dana's Antique Goodies. Dana's Antique Goodies for a reason. Antiques. If I wasn't showing you really any antiques, you'd be like, why is it called that? Well, I guess you would assume that I liked antiques. <laughs> but they were coming, the mice were coming eventually. And they did. You made a special appearance. And with cleaning out your house. Now I'm gonna get all the excess out. Probably wondering why am I not doing this like in the tub or whatever. It's really no need because you know the outside isn't dirty. Just the inside, so I can get that cleaned up, that's okay. <sighs> Boy, she's really staring down those mice. And it's funny, her name's Misi. Like Meesey, micey, mice. Mice. It's kind of why I named her that because she's white like a mouse. Meesey. 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 What are you looking at those miceys for? You're also probably wondering, which I don't think it's all that uncommon, but why don't you have the typical, you know, cage with little bars and all that? 
it's just too messy. And then they're gonna dig up all their fluff and it's gonna get kicked out all over and around the uh, cage like a gosh darn Christmas wreath on your door for the holidays. <laughs> I don't want that. So I figured if they were in a tank, it'd be more contained, all their yuck. And gosh forbid, if the cats ever got upstairs, they'd, you know, probably start sticking their paws in there and ripping apart the mice's faces. So I figure if it's in a tank again, it's a lot more contagious, like the fish, you know. She's back up on the table staring down at those mice. She wants them, but she can't have them. She's in a kitty loaf. <laughs> She's like the typical white cat that you see sitting outside someone's house or your own house, like in your backyard with like a fish pond. And you're just staring down at the fish. She moved again. Meesy! Meesy! You're Meesy! Look, Meesy! Look, some mice! Mice! Oh, she comes for the mice, but the heck with me. cat's weird she gets like a mohawk on her when she gets all happy she gets all, like all puffy and a puffy sweets and a puffy puffy and a puffy sweets ah the puffy wees that's it get your cat hair all over me trying to show you uh, her blue eyes, but she's not really uh, allowing me to do that. Meesy. Alright. Meesy. Come on, Meesy. Show the world your blue eyes. Meesy. Dirty cat. There we go. At least some of it. Who's a good white puffy weese? Who's a good fluffy sweeties? Who's a good fluffy sweeties? Me see. Me see. 
There's her blue eyes. And here's the fat cat. It's girly. Girly. Squirly. This white cat won't leave me alone. What do you want now? I ain't giving you no mice. They're a mohawk. What the heck? Macy. And it's Squeakies. And squeaks. What the heck? It's not nice. Squeeze. Where's my squeeze? this out with the towel. And I got the cat sniffing the camera. Oh well, my phone. Me see. Dry the rest of the stuff now. Alright, now that everything's dried off, let's head back upstairs and fill her up. Actually, before I go right upstairs, let me show you some of the kitties. Well, you know, you saw these two already. There's a squeakies. Girly. 
me see. S'mores. Ah, s'mores. Let's see if she does it on camera. If I cough, she'll go. S'mores! Look at you. Look how cute she is. Ah, s'mores. <laughs> this is Katrina. Katrina. Ah, the good blonde. Ah, the good sneers. Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> it's we. This is Jess. 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 Ah, oh, the good Jess. Jess. Jess! Jess! So, um, this cat, Jessie, and her sister, Katrina, are both 18 years old. They're the oldest ones we got. Got them in, um, I think January of 2004. <laughs> so they're troopers. It's now, what, 2022? And this one's still posing. Just doing what I call the playboy pose. Being a naughty cat. Simmers. <coughs> Just sweet. Hi, hi. Girly. Now to the upstairs. We got our mice. We got everything dried up. No, don't rub me. I just delinted myself. <laughs> All right, let's get this son of a gun pulled back up. Just put this off to the side until it needs to be full again. Here's the foot I got. It's a uh, beach colored beach party. I got this stuff. It lasted me pretty long, which is because the top of it. And that was back in March. It's now uh, the very end of July. Monday, was it Sunday or Monday? It'll be uh, August 1st. So, this, this son of a gun lasted me about a year or better. Almost. It was like only like 18 bucks. It was on sale. So, it wasn't like $6 or nothing like that. 
that's not too bad for a whole year's worth. And always we get the biggest they'd have, so it would last the longest. And now I only have two little teeny tiny micey mice, but micey mice, micey miceys, but uh, I do clean out their house at least once a week. So actually, no, it is once a week. I do clean out their house once a week because they flip the place upside down, like my school, I guess. They always flip it upside down for some reason, even when there is food in it. Take a handful of that. Stairs to get the milk for the wheel. So I love that thing. Hey, okay, got the knob. Let's get this back together. No, I don't have no names room. I just call them the mice. It's too difficult picking out a name for these mice. <laughs> this back. This on, and we're done. is clean and they're clean for the most part <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video of me cleaning out the mice's house seeing some kitty cats let them go <laughs> but yeah now their um, house is all cleaned up look how it Look how it, um, look how it shines, because everything's just so clean. The wheel's clean, the little igloo is clean, the food dish is clean, their, uh, endless supply of water is clean, the water itself is clean, and the fluff is new and clean, and the tank has been cleaned as well. So, it's all clean. Clean mice. Or, well, if the mice aren't at least clean, their houses for now. Hope to see you again next time. If you'd like to see more videos like this of cleaning and, well, organizing and all that, let me know. This is what they do. This is how they get the bottle all dirtied up from jumping up there. Dirty things. Oh, Blackman wants to... Nope. Wait. Yes, there it is. Dirty mice. <laughs> See you next time.